Guys, I'm going to go over how to get red box red weapons. You pretty much have one guaranteed every single week per account upon completing the raid. You'll be able to pick this up after defeating Rook and it will always be a red box. And again, you want these red box weapons because as you attune them, you will eventually be able to obtain the pattern for that weapon, thus allowing you to craft that weapon. So the Stasis Fusion Rifle, Deliverance, the Arc Pulse Rifle, Insidious, Cataclysmic, the Linear Fusion Rifle, Lubre's Ruin, the Glade. Forbearance is a grenade launcher and submission the SMG. These are your legendary weapons that I believe are going to have some pretty nasty rolls, especially when we start talking enhanced traits. Now, there's a couple of other ways to get these red box drops outside of just the one raid completion per week, which, by the way, you could choose a red box weapon of a weapon you've already discovered. The second way of getting a red box weapon is just from the encounters. So from the first encounter, you have the opportunity to get the kinetic submachine gun, the stasis fusion rifle and the linear fusion fusion rifle. Again, it's rare, but one of these can drop as a red box weapon. The second encounter, the caretaker, the SMG again, insidious pulse rifle, and the cataclysmic linear fusion rifle, as well as the forbearance wave frame grenade launcher. Now, the third encounter is actually pretty interesting here. You only have two drops that can come from this, which is the kinetic submachine gun and the deliverance fusion rifle. I bring this up because as you're looking at this, it gives you some sort of idea of what weapons to target for attunements, right? Submachine gun is already been in the drop pool three different times so you may not want to purchase your red box submachine gun at the end of your first raid completion of each week as it's very likely given the fact that it's so available per encounter you're probably going to get that weapon pattern from just drops now the final encounter insidious lubre's ruin and the forbearance grenade launcher as well as the exotic pulse rifle collective obligation by the way if you haven't checked out a review for collective obligation feel free to go check that out but with that being said Ludbray's Ruin is obviously the most rare as it only drops from the boss. So if you're looking to craft this thing and I gotta say it's an amazing looking glaive. It's quite literally the glaive of Rook. That's probably gonna be the weapon I choose each time. Considering that there's so many other drop chances before that from the encounters that can net me a potential red box drop. And again upon discovering any one of these weapons that will unlock the ability to purchase once per week per account a red box weapon of your choice. Now something to mention. Spoils of Conquest quests as far as we have seen and we have spent a lot of spoils spoils has not given us any red box drops again it's obvious what bungie is trying to do right here they're trying to extend the grind making us do the raid every single week as all of us want to try to get the weapon patterns for these weapons now the other way to get red box drops again similar to the encounters but by chance are from the hidden chests. now there's actually two throughout the raid one of them is right before the first encounter while you were in the swaps you'll notice this area right here where the payload is essentially turning left just go straight up and run straight into that room and there'll be a chest on the other side and yes these hidden chests not only do they drop you things like spoils raid mods but they also have a chance of dropping you a red box weapon the next hidden chest is on the way to the third encounter now you're gonna have to shoot a couple of things down below there'll be like one of those black crystals and it'll open up some of the platforms alongside the side of the pyramid but just keep climbing up and if you got things like stompies lion rampants top tree dawn blade traverse until you get to that middle section when you get to that middle section you'll know you're in the right spot when you see these pillars in front of you and these are pillars not the moving ones these are the ones that are firmly in place you'll jump across and you'll eventually see a little cubby up there and through that will be a room with a chest in it interesting enough after you actually loot this chest which by the way this also has a chance of giving you a red box weapon you can then just drop through the floor in that same room and you'll be right there before the next encounter now those are the two hidden chests and again between the hidden chests and the encounters those are all rng based when it comes to getting those red box weapons but you still want to do them as there's still a chance and again considering that most of the weapon patterns require something like five weapon attunements you're really going to want to loot all of these sources now there is one other guaranteed way of getting a red box weapon outside of the one completion per account and i believe this is still only based on your account and not your character so you can only do this once per week big shout out to scarrow for actually pointing this out but but in the beginning of the raid, right after you just traverse the swamps, when you run in, you're going to see a totem. Now, this totem, take a screenshot or write it down. You're going to need to remember these symbols. For us, it was Traveler, 
kill and black triangle remember these symbols guys because throughout the rest of the raid you're gonna unlock rooms now the first room is on the way to the first encounter you'll drop down and turn around and this first room is actually the black triangle room and by the way these don't change so room number one black triangle now the thing about these rooms guys if it happens to be one of the rooms you need you want to shoot where the symbol is let it appear and then leave it that will lock it in place and then just leave the room now the second room which is on the way to the next encounter past some of the artwork and everything else this room is actually jazz hands or giving whatever you want to call it but that was not one of ours so we literally shot it and then shot it back out but that's room number two now the third room is actually in the same room as the first encounter now interesting enough we saw this day one and we were all wondering what the hell this was but there was a crystal up top that you can shoot and when you shoot it it actually opens up a doorway right there on the side and this is room number three and this is black sun or darkness again not one of ours so we shot it back out now the fourth room guys right after you defeat the caretaker you want to look left and shoot that crystal now kind of a tricky one here it actually opens up the door behind you now this room is yellow man or orange man or elmo or whatever you want to call it again not one of ours so we moved on but that's room number four the fifth room is again on the way to the third encounter and is actually in the collection room i'm showing some of scaro's gameplay here because everyone was in front of me but you're going to want to jump up to that second level when you jump up to that second level you're going to shoot that crystal drop back down and you'll shoot this symbol right here and this is the traveler of which we do have from our totem at the very beginning of the raid now the sixth and final room i am not seeing gameplay of this one yet but this is right after the third encounter leading up to rook it's in this really big open area here's the thing guys if you look behind you you'll see a crystal on the wall it'll have that orange glow you'll shoot that and a door will open up on the very top level there on the right side run all the way in there and that will be your kill room or red circle whatever you want to call it but you'll notice the moment you satisfy those three symbols throughout the raid at the bottom left hand of your corner you'll see that the disciple recognizes your offering fellas this means you're good you've unlocked it and no matter what upon defeating rook a red box weapon will drop for you outside of that guys those are the only two guaranteed ways i know of getting a red box drop every single week one from just completing the raid once per week on your account and the other one is matching these symbols up with these associated rooms outside of that everything is up for chance but i do highly advise looting every chest and doing every encounter and when it comes to weapons that are really rare focus on those weapon patterns first focus on those attunements first when it comes to things like the smg which is readily available from a lot of different encounters i wouldn't necessarily focus on that unless you just really want the smg regardless though guys as soon as we see random rolls for these weapons we'll be doing reviews for all of them so be looking out for that fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right.